Welcome back here to Live Now from Fox. I'm your host, Giacomo Luca. Thanks for joining us. The U.S. Navy has destroyed several Iranian-backed militant ships that attacked a container ship in the Red Sea. They responded early this morning after getting a distress call from the container ship Maersk Kangzhou in the Red Sea. That according to the U.S. Central Command. U.S. Navy helicopters responded around 6.30 this morning after the ship sent out multiple distress calls within a 24-hour period. Navy helicopters responding to find four militant boats within 20 meters of that ship firing at and then attempting to board the vessel, who later turned fire on that responding aircraft. Navy crews fired, sinking three of those four small boats, killing their crews. The fourth boat fled the area, according to U.S. Central Command. No Americans or military equipment was damaged. Meanwhile, Maersk has paused all sailing through the Red Sea over the next 48 hours. The crew of the Maersk Hangzhou, well, they were safe and there was no indication on board of any type of fire on the ship, uh, which was fully maneuverable and they were able to continue its journey north to Port Suez. The attack was the latest by Houthi militants in Yemen who have been targeting vessels in the Red Sea to show their support for Palestinian Islamist group Hamas continuing to fight Israel in Gaza. Meanwhile, the Israeli military well, they say they have claims that they found a horrifying find in a children's care area in Gaza on Sunday. Israeli soldiers claim they found an explosive device in a kindergarten located in the southern region of the Gaza Strip. Video showing Israel Defense Forces walking through the damaged and now empty kindergarten. The Israel-Hamas war is now going into its third month soon.